Welcome back to episode two of the garage makeover series or actually whatever I've got going on here. Little bit different today. We're not going to start with our first project. Uh, the reason for that is because as you can see, I didn't really finish the garage yesterday. Um, there was still some lighting I needed to put up. I need to actually, I need to put up some more lighting on the roof um, because what I'm trying to do is to work in the garage with our garage door closed. Um, and with the garage door closed, it's just too dark in here. So, gonna get some lighting up. Uh, once we've done that, then we're gonna get some more tools up. Hopefully, I've got a few more tools. We'll put them over here. And then for the left-hand side of the garage, um, as I said, I was gonna put some of the clamps and some of the other tools that I don't use that often. Uh, but I still want to have them displayed. I rushed down to the shop early on today um, to get a couple of lights and uh, I got them over here. These are quite nice lights actually. They um, LED, um, I don't know, LED fluorescence or whatever you want to, it's an LED light that re replaces a fluorescent. Uh, so I'm going to put a couple of these up. I've got six of them. I also picked up some uh, conduit. Now what we're going to do with this uh, conduit is make a frame for the for the lights to hang on um, I didn't really just want to hang them with string so as I said I'm gonna make a frame uh, lights are gonna hang on and to join kind of the frame up I've got, got a whole lot of supplies um, we got some ripcord uh, there's some uh, junction boxes to join everything together and then some of these uh, saddle straps or I don't actually know exactly what they're called but um, these are going to hold the light bulbs. Um, some insulation tape, I think we probably need some of that. And I don't know, I suppose a bit of skill. <laughs> so let's get going. pieces that I actually needed. I needed three pieces that long and I've only got two pieces that long. Um, I did have a spare or a little bit of spare from a previous project that I made but it's a little bit short about that much too short so I think we're gonna just have to go with a smaller frame. Smaller than planned at least but it'll still work. Cool. Damn it man I didn't want to do that. That's the layout. Um, we're just going to use some chipboard screws and screw these little saddles on over each light. Um, so there's 12 of them. And then that's basically the frame done. After that, get the wiring done, put up some string. I'm actually just going to, I'm going to hang the entire structure off the roof. Um, and then plug it in and hopefully it works. Yeah, so I'm almost done with the wiring. Um, I've connected up all six lights. Um, I was going to make a switch um, that sort of powers on every second light so that I can have alternate lights coming on if, if there's too much light or not enough light. Uh, but when I got to this stage, I kind of <laughs> didn't really think about it too well. And um, the lights are already connected. Everything's closed up and all the wires look the same. So I think that alternate light switching on idea is out the window. So what we're basically left with is one switch. They'll all either be on or off. So the light's going up. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Should have done planning a bit better. Next time. All done. Okay, so finished for now. Um, well, with the light section of the build, 
uh, we still got the tools to do but um, it's all worked out pretty well uh, it took a little bit longer than expected because I didn't really think about all the finer details um, but it's it's worked out Yo. so that's all of the lights up um, I'm keen to hear what you guys think so maybe leave some comments in the comment section below if it was a good idea to put this type of light up or if you think I should move it to another position um, yeah just let me know what you think so the next section that we're going to do is um, sort of populate these two boards. Uh, I need to get the last, the last couple of tools up. Um, what I want to do is, uh, this keyboard is not really useful <laughs> up there, so I need to make a little shelf uh, for the keyboard and the mouse. And once that's up, then uh, I want to get most of the other stuff up so we can start on our first project. I found this uh, old scrap piece of wood, um, so I'm going to use this as the shelf for the keyboard. Um, we're basically going to put the shelf up like that, I'm going to cut it off over here and then also as part of the garage when we moved in there were these little um, shelf brackets just screwed onto the wall and they're also made out of wood so I'm going to use these and we'll just uh, put one up under each side um, probably a little supporting like a rib underneath the shelf just to keep it stiff and then that's kind of where the keyboard and the mouse is going to go Switch the plug on. Okay, I'm uh, kind of thinking what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to round these two edges. So, kind of an easy cheat way of doing it is maybe getting an old paint can and we'll put it on top. And uh, yeah, let me just show you. So, here's a he has an old paint can, um, so what we're going to do is just to get a nice round edge, we'll push it up to either edge there, and we'll trace it out with a, with a pencil, and there we go, we can cut that edge out with the jigsaw. Of course, yeah, it must be it must be comfortable for standing. That's the point. We're going to stand here. Time to get the brackets on. My screwdriver is not really long enough. Thinking of um, having, making a little pencil holder uh, just for pens and I don't know, you know, random stuff. Using a piece of tube, cutting it off short, maybe putting a little you know, bottom in it and then kind of screwing it down. Um, but yeah, that or, or maybe something flat. Um, I've actually got an idea. I'll be back now. Uh, this is one of my drawers from, you know, those stock like storage bins that you get. Even just maybe that, and put that on the corner, and we can screw it down. And um, wait, okay, actually, hang on, I've got an excellent idea. I probably should have said that the excellent idea. I mean, that's a good idea by itself, but I've just realised this. I've got a whole lot of these drawers, but we can actually put a few of them underneath here. Um, maybe like you know, a row of two, 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 and two. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, so um, this is basically where I've got to. Uh, it's the end of the day now. And I think I'm actually going to leave it like this. Um, 
managed to get the shelf up. Um, I'll put on the drawers, uh, do that in another video. I'll do that together with, um, I've got an idea to hang up all my pliers and side cutters and long nose. Um, there's just a kind of a little holder that I want to build and then I'll screw that onto the onto this board here on the right. Um, but I'll leave that for another video. Yeah, managed to get the other, the other clamps up and uh, a few more odds and ends. But uh, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for now. Um, it's going to be kind of a work in progress. So I'll put more tools up as I unpack them and as I get them out. But I think for now, I'm pretty keen to get into our first little project, uh, which I'll start tomorrow. Um, yeah, should be should be quite good. So come back for that. Something I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, I've seen a couple of guys uh, talking about the same concept, and I've always enjoyed this concept um, as sort of a tool structure. Um, but as you can see, all the tools are kind of displayed, um, so you can see exactly what you've got at any time. And then also, um, I kind of enjoy the first, I think it's called the first order retrieval system, where you can literally just stick your hand out, it takes one movement to get whatever item you need. Um, so be it screwdrivers or whatever whatever tool it is, um, so it just takes one movement to get it. Um, so something like these little screwdrivers hanging in the um, in the cases, it's not really a first order retrieval type of thing because uh, you've obviously got to take it off the off the wall and then you've still got to open it. Well, ah, come on, there we go. You've still got to open it to get the, the screwdriver out. So uh, eventually, what I'll do is I'll make holders for each of these little things and uh, make everything a first order retrieval uh, a first order retrieval system. So yeah, we'll go for that. But um, That'll come in uh, weeks, uh, weeks to follow, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.